What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Pikmin 4 and before we kick off today's episode I want to thank you guys for your support. You left over 3,000 likes in the first episode and I really do appreciate that. Uh, let's go ahead and continue onward. This is day two I believe. Uh, you'll be pleased to learn that I installed uh, two, wait, wait, what? I skipped it, I skipped it. Two new something, two new apps I think he said. Anyway, I'm going to find them useful and uh, when I'm out on the field, so check them out. Now that we have that sorted out, are you ready to get out there and explore? Ready to explore. Pussy. Which area would you like to explore? Do I get to choose? Let's see. Sun Speckled Terrace, 0% done. So yeah, we should explore this area. Sun Speckled Terrace sounds good. It looks like there might be a missing rescue officer here. We need to get out there and find them. Uh, travel now? No. I want to look around. <laughs> I want to look around first. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. So come find me. All right, so is there... So wait. Can I... Give me those pigmen. <clears throat> <clears throat> because look, we have, uh, if, if I can get some more Pikmin before I leave, then that's a good thing, right? Or am I just reading too much into the situation? Let's see, let's see, let's see. And then after I get like 20, then I'll go explore or whatever, right? I mean, these things were here. Yeah, okay, Burrow of Beginnings, 100%. We did that one already. Great, so return to me. And then, oh, here we go, here we go. We've seen this all before, though. Is it gonna cap out at some point? At 20 or whatever? Huh? The onion stopped spitting out seeds. Based on life signs from inside the onion, there are clearly more Pikmin in there. Maybe Pikmin have evolved to self-limit how many can be out on the surface at a time to prevent unnecessary loss. Yeah, maybe so. Well, there we go, well, I have uh, 20 available to me now. And now I think I'm ready to travel. So yeah, that's not gonna make a new one. So I have my 20, let's travel now. Let's see what he says. Uh, the SS Beagle can take off whenever you're ready. So I'm ready to explore. And of course, I want to explore the Sun Speckled Terrace. So let's go. And let's see what this is gonna happen. Let's see what's gonna happen here. We're out of here. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. Watch out. Oh, the onion's going too? <laughs> Surprise! Sun Speckled Terrace. 0% progress, but that's okay. This looks beautiful. I like what I see. Now, am I still limited to just 20? Maybe so. Maybe we shouldn't worry about it too much right now. Well, let's get out of here. Let's see what we need to do. Hello? Come in, come in. This is Colin. Looks like you made it there in one piece. Hang on, I'll have the captain explain how today's rescue operation will work. See the clock at the top left corner of your screen? It's set up so that the hand will reach the rightmost edge at the area's local sunset time. Search for our missing rescue officers during the day, but hustle back to the rescue command post before dark. Copy that. All right, we're counting on you. Oh, probably you probably noticed that the Onion accompanied the SS Beagle. According to the voyage log, the Onion also serves as a form of transportation for the Pikmin. We've got a lot to do and can take all the help we can get. I think you could put those Pikmin to good use. Now, I don't know if they'll make more. I, I think we, we might be capped out at 20 right now. I don't know. Or maybe there's 25 in there. Yeah, so there's uh, this one actually has 25. So I brought 20 with me. And uh, let's just... Can you attack this guy? Get this guy. Get him. Get him. Oof. Oh, he has a health bar. Take his dead body with us. <laughs> I 
And then what else? I mean, we, we're pretty set here. There's a shiny baseball over here. I don't know. Can I get up here or can I not? I don't think I can get up there yet. I think I'm kind of stuck. That's okay for now. We probably made... Man, there's a time limit here? What's going on? What's going on? Come in, Zach Scott. I forgot an important detail. That is, you're going to need Ochi's help when it comes to searching for the rescue officers. He has a sharp sense of smell, so he'll be able to locate the rescue officers by tracking their scents. Okay, use that to open actions, and then use that to select search command to begin with. Uh, pick up scent. You never know where his nose may lead you. All right, great. Let me go get these, these other five Pikmin. Rescue operations are a race against time, so put your Dandori skills to work to find our rescue officers quickly. You look a little confused. Have you never heard the term Dandori before, Zach Scott? Or how to explain? Dandori is the art of organizing your tasks strategically and working with maximum efficiency to execute your plans quickly. Its practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years, but it's still a core tenet of the Rescue Corps, so take it to heart. Embracing the art of Dandori is essential to our work, and you'll need it out there while searching for our, rescued of our rescue officers. To get things started, open actions and command Ochi to sniff out missing comrades. Right. Right, 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 right. Sounds good. Let me go get these other Pikmin. There's a, well, there's a couple more here. And then there's also these. How many do I need for this? 20. I need, I'm going to need all 20 for that. Let me just grab that and that. And I mean, again, I don't know. I don't fully know. Wake up, guys. Do we have, uh, we only have 18. So this should give us, so wait, 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 hold on. Is he going to give me more or no? I still only have 20. Huh. Okay, so I guess I just can't get any more out. Okay, I, I misunderstood. My bad. Okay, so. Everyone do this. That's a pretty rock, isn't it? It doesn't seem like treasure, but it might be useful. I'll check Captain Olimar's voyage log. Raw materials, one could mistake this raw material for a simple stone, but it has more in common with amber and other fossilized bio biological matter. When heated, it melts into a brown clay and becomes malleable. It should be, I should be able to find many applications for it. Great, I'm a fair, I'm a fair hand with machines, but I don't know much about material science. If we had our scientist back, I bet he'd be able to make good use of this. Collect it for now, he'll be excited to have something to work with after we find him. So if it's, Sure. Okay, great. Will they automatically come back to me? I don't know that they will, honestly. Do I need to wait? I wish they would just come back to me, but I don't think they're going to. All right. Get over here. All right, so, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, first up, we're going to sniff it out. Which way do I need to go? Pick up scent of castaways. Follow the scent, Ochi. Okay, this way. Okay, let's go get the... Uh, I, I think I would prioritize humans over treasures. Correct me if I'm wrong about that, but I think that might be a good idea. Got him. All right, something about this wall. I could, ha I could demolish... Uh, I could also... How do I switch to Ochi? Whatever, let's demolish the wall. Together we can do it. That's not helping at all. Oh, it is actually. Great. All right, I understand. This is actually taking a lot longer than I thought. Yeah, go get him, go get him. And look at this. Look, there's a cave here too. This area is crawling with creatures. Our rescue officers should have retreated into the cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. Okay, we should. Now, here's here's my question. Uh, what are these? Eggs. Oh, yeah. These are going to be super Pikmin or whatever. What are they called? Did you see that? It bloomed a flower. What's going on here? Hmm... That substance is called nectar. When Pikmin consume it, it simulates their growth, apparently. The voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. No. They really are mysterious creatures. So great, get, everyone get, a, get a, some delicious snacks of this nectar. 
Everyone needs some nectar. There's plenty more. Uh, so the good news is that they do move, apparently. But let me, I mean, should I wait for these guys? I mean, like, what's, how to best manage this? I mean, I don't really want to follow everyone back all the time. But if they can grow too, then that would be advantageous to me. So hold on, let me let me go ahead and I'll just I'll just I'll just do it. I, I want everyone with me. Turn them in, turn them in. Let's go. Thank you. All right, we got the troops rallied. We got. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what the actual strategy is because we're getting close to nighttime already. But <laughs> we're like we're like I don't know a fifth of the way there. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, you want to go in there. I want these Pikmin to drink nectar. Can they just come over here and drink it? All right, everyone, drink up. Get your fill. Great. Excuse me. I know you want to go that way, but I also want to go that way. Let's go. Enter. I wonder if there might be a voyage log entry related to these coordinates. Yep, here it is. Last Frost Cavern. I entered a cave to look for SS Dolphin parts and found a creature that defies the logic of space. It further surprised me by expelling frigid cold air. Imagine if there were Pikmin that had been acclimated to that cold air. This planet's ecosystem is full of mysteries. Take a look at this. That Captain Olimar certainly is thorough, isn't he? According to the log, any time you enter a cave, you should take Pikmin with you. The SS Beagle can bring the Pikmin so you can enter the cave without stopping by the base first. Oh, okay, great. The Pikmin that remain on the surface can't just be left out here, so let's return them to the Onion for the time being. I don't have any on the surface, so this is sub-level one of the... Okay, so let's go in here. That looks good. Bring them all. All right, sub-level one. So, yeah, I mean, sub-level one. Wow, okay. So, this is... Okay. All right. Uh, so... Let's go, Ochi. Good boy, Ochi. He's picked up a castaway scent. It has to be one of our missing rescue officers. Time to get them back to safety. All right, so obviously I see these things. Kill, kill, kill. Sure. Uh, what is this? Okay, what, what just happened? What's this? That's not treasure? Huh? Treasure or not, it does appear to contain some sparklium. You might as well keep collecting those defeated creatures. They may be enough to help, e even if only a little. All right, great, and that is a treasure right there. And then if we want to, you know, do some charging. There you go. Well, they, how do you set these to automatically grab this stuff? Like, I, I think I would want them to just automatically grab this. Great. I mean, I don't think we need any more nectar, unless Ochi can drink some nectar. Ochi, can you drink nectar? I don't think you can. So come back to me, Pikmin. All right. Uh, let's go back to the Pikmin. Is this anything up there? All right. So this, I am a little bit worried about these guys. Get him! Get him! What the heck is that? Is he frozen? Is the poor thing frozen? Maybe it will respond to the whistle. Maybe. And look at this. Ice Pikmin. Hello. Are these Pikmin too? Let's see. The voyage log says the Ice Pikmin. I always thought of Pikmin as plant-like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice variant. Ice Pikmin can use their icy bodies to freeze water and creatures, but they also float like ice in the water. Don't spray them with water, though. They really don't like it. Their bodies are made of ice? Who knew that something frozen could move around like that? It's incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. Let's. What, what is happening? Okay, great. Huh? That seems like a lot of Pikmin. Is your squad bigger than normal? 
Oh, I see. When you're underground, you can have a larger squad because the wild Pikmin you find will join you. Great. Someone, yeah, you get that. I don't know. Someone else. Gets this. Someone else grab. Well, I don't know what we're grabbing. Oh, we're grabbing these bodies. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna be on a little adventure too of my own. I sent. Unfortunately, I sent out Ochi, which was not good. Dang it. Ochi, come back. Oh, okay. Well. Mm. This this is the part that I'm having a little. Okay, hold on. Thank you, Ochi. Let's let's go. Ochi's gonna join my party again, right? Yeah, there's Ochi. Great. And then I'll come back and have those ice Pikmin drink the nectar. Is there like a way to just like recall them from like a very far away that I just didn't realize? I don't know how. All right, let's uh, charge this one. Yeah, oh, there's more, there's more. All right, push. Me too. Oh, no, no, we need Pikmin to push. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I could do that too. Hey, come here. How, did, how come you guys aren't, okay, whatever. All right, that's a shortcut, which is great. Paper bag is lowered, and then, uh, what is this over here? All right, let me get some more Pikmin. Let's grab this, whatever this is. Is there something here? Nothing to really worry about. Now, do I charge this? Or what, what, what do I do? Let's. I guess we go back. I guess we go back. And then I want to give my ice Pikmin something to deal with here. It's like a tube of paint or something. There we go. All right, so we got these ice Pikmin. Let's uh, drink this. I got one treasure. Perfect. Okay, great. And then is oh hold on, Ochi can be over here really quick. Is this an onion right here? Maybe so. Uh, let's just send the regular ones. Or do they need to be ice? I don't know. Quicker, quicker. Hurry. There we go. <laughs> so this is an onion, right? Does it look like it's sputtering? It looks pretty pale for an onion. What do you think? Should we take it with us? I guess. Unless it's gonna be like a, a sick onion or something. I don't know. All right, so let's get you guys some more nectar. I don't know if that was all of them or. or all right, what, what's happening here? Huh? This onion is different somehow. Let's take it back to the surface so we can compare it with the other uh, other onion. Okay, great. Yeah, let's. Man. Okay, so. Am I wrong in thinking there should be a way just to get these guys? Some of these reds are not nectarized all the way. But I guess now they are. Okay. What is this? Just like that, frozen solid. I bet you can break it if you hit it now. All right, great. I will do that. Uh, go back to the... Uh, well, here, let me... Everyone come back here. Let's uh, freeze that one too. Then Ochi will be able to slam it. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, Ochi will be able to do that again. Perfect. All right, and then what's this? Oh, this is one of the guys. We found a castaway. Hurry and check their vitals. He's dead. No, <laughs> pulse, blood pressure, temperature, all within normal parameters. Looks like their life support system did it, did its job. We should transport them back to the SS Beagle and verify their ID badge. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, 
You guys want to pick him up? <laughs> and then what's this over here? Back to surface. Uh, okay, hold on now. Let me let me just solve this or whatever. Let's deal with this. Let's go back. I want to see what happens. I guess we'll go back to surface once we get everyone in here. Otherwise, I would just do it and then, you know, but I don't know how much time I'm wasting here. Excellent. You did it. Let's take a look and see what their the ID badge tells us. Hey, this is... Russ, an inventor, material engineer, and lover of all things science. He can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the right raw materials. Oh, thank the stars, he's all right. This is Russ, the scientist in charge of repairs and upgrades for our spacesuits in the SS Shepard. His technical knowledge will be beyond helpful during the, this rescue mission. Awesome. We found the scientist. All right. And then so now we do we... Rally up, and then now we can go up. Are you all done down here? I think we are. If so, you can make your way to the exit. Okay, so I have five. The weird thing is, it says I have 501, which is really bothering me. <laughs> all right, but I think everyone's drank their juices, and now we're going to go up to the top. Uh, okay. I think we're good. I'm just a little confused on, like, what percentage of everything I got done. But I guess I can always go back in if I'm missing something or whatever. So we got the rescue, good. <laughs> Sparklium, we got 201, which really was weird. And then investigation complete. So we, okay, did we 100% that? Yes, we did. Okay, great, we didn't lose anybody. Great. Okay, I'm happy about that. That's good. Because I would like to ideally 100% complete stuff. All right, we saw... Okay, I'm sure I synchronized your clock, Zach Scott, but something's off. I calculated the difference. It looks as if about one-sixth as much time passed on the surface as you spent underground. Time seems to move differently in the underground spaces on this planet. I'm not sure how it works, but I suppose that means you can take as much time as you need to explore caves. Great. <laughs> Wonderful for me. And here's that old stinky onion. Looks like, oh, that's garlic. Looks like a garlic. Hey, the onion sucked it up. The voyage log says that the white bulb is called Flarlic. <laughs> if we bring Flarlic to the onion, it will increase the number of pigment it releases onto the surface at any one time by 10. Whoa, that'll be a big help when you're exploring. Try taking out more pigmen. Okay, great. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yes, that looks good to me. 20 and 10. Looks good. Confirm. All right, so I have my 30. And then it's gonna be just a question of what we explore next. And we have a map here. That's useful. Huh. All right, so we did that one 100%. Everyone looking good here, good. We gotta, we gotta move on. We gotta move on and do something new. Uh, oh yeah, let's, let's, uh, well, okay. <laughs> so we got that done. Do we need to return back to the base and yeah, let's return back to the base, and because that scientist might be able to help me out with whatever that material was. Uh, I don't know if this is the best option though, because this is going to cost me some time. Oh, the base! I don't even know where the ba okay. Actually, I just realized I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where the scientist is. <laughs> whatever. Okay, let's continue onwards then. Let's go. Um, have the dog. Uh, sniff out some more. Uh, castaways. Here we go. Where is it? Where did we go? Okay, follow the scent. Ochi. So, okay, so we're still going this way. Okay. I just wasted some time. My bad. We're gonna go back out here. And I have a lot of Pikmin who have drank the nectar. The scent is a little bit slow. I'm a little bit faster than the scent itself. So, okay, well, let's see what this is. Oh, no, this is what we just did. Okay, my bad. <laughs> um, we're pretty far from the SS Beagle. That is true. That is the truth. 
and I don't know what to do about that, honestly, other than let's go fight this thing. Holy cow. What just happened? What just happened? Huh, another circle of stones. We keep finding them in the most opportune locations. How interesting. Maybe Captain Olimar left them behind for us so we could track him down. Never mind that for now. I wonder if we're in this creature's territory. We are. We gotta take him out. We should create a base here. Any Dandori master will tell you it's the most efficient way forward. But first, let's do something about that pesky creature already. I'm in the middle of that, so... Get him quick. Everyone beat him up. Oh, the fire is bad. Fire is bad. That's why we get him quick. There you go. New base unlocked. Here, hold on. If we're going to get a new base, don't carry this body yet. Uh, move base. There we go. We're going to move the base. And then we can uh, talk about carrying this body. And then uh, we can also get these things while we're here. So he's still on the... On the all right, all right, good stuff, good stuff. Round up. Oh wait, actually get that, someone get that. Um, then let's gather these things, I suppose. We're halfway through the day, sounds like. All right, these guys are gonna come with me. Good, 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 good. Thank you. Did we get everything? I guess we got everything there. Pile of raw material transported. There's a guy we can fight over there. Let's uh, continue getting these. No, okay, I keep getting distracted and confused a little bit. Okay, great. Well, let's go over to where Ochi is because uh, Ochi is on the trail of something here. And, uh, you know, oh, here, uh, man, interruption again. You'll want to keep a close eye on the creatures, but if they move around a lot, they can easily escape your line of sight. When that happens, there's a handy trick for keeping your sights and aim where you want them. Yeah, press, uh, okay, yeah, ZR to do the auto-target lock. All right, it makes targeting nimble enemies or aiming, okay, while well, you're in motion to snap. Great, got it. All right, so target lock, he's asleep, so this lets me focus on it, right? No. Oh, oh no, that's that's it. That's it. There we go. Get on him! Get on him! We're throwing the whole works at him. Frozen. It it froze. Don't just stand there. Now's your chance. He's he's almost got anyway. We got him. Oh, and he wow. Okay, so he broke. That broke him. <laughs> Hilariously enough. Uh, all right, let's continue. Where, where is this? Where's this path you want to go? You want to go up here? I don't think that I can do anything about that over there. I can't throw them. I mean, I can throw them, but I don't think that they're really going to do anything for us. Is this the right way to go? Oh, that looks dangerous. All right, take those bodies. Uh, literally don't know what to do here. No, 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 oh. Uh-oh, the poor Pikmin got shocked. Call them with B to wake them up. Okay, great, great, he's not dead. I thought he would just be dead. All right. So, okay, he's shocked. What do I do then? Uh, let's, there's a lot of ways to go. And the day's almost over, it seems. And so, is this anything up there? I mean, he's on the track of something there. Uh, there's my other guys. There's water here. Do you think these guys can freeze water? I would guess yes, but I also don't want to risk it too much. Um, let me go up here first because this is a bridge. Was this under construction at some point? I wonder who was working on it. I'm sure we could put it to good use if it was finished. Yeah, it seems like we should get someone should get that finished. <laughs> what do I do? All right, let's let's consider this. Okay. I thought maybe they would freeze it. Yeah, you know the time time is an issue here. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm a little confused on where I need to go. Uh, there's a nice strawberry up there. 
we were, of course, seeking out Rugged Scaffold 2. What does that mean, Rugged Scaffold? Uh, well. Huh. I wasn't expecting to just not know what to do now. I don't think I can just throw these guys up here. Nope. Okie doke. Oh, what about that? Can I reach that? Hmm. Seemingly not. How do I get up here then? I really don't know what to do about this. Uh. Someone just touched that. Stop it. Stop it. Let's go this way then. We have a path this way. It's almost nighttime though, so I'm going to have to probably return. Okay, so yeah, we have. Oh, shoot. Alright, everyone do their things. Alright, we're all good. We're all good here. And then I'm going to take these guys over here. I. No, I don't want to fight that guy, I don't, I don't think. I think I would want the dog with me. We definitely have a path. There's another onion thing or garlic or whatever. Can I can I reach that from here? Hmm, they can't reach it. You can't reach what? You can't transport this thing for now. You can't transport what for now? I don't, I don't think there's a way. Is there a way to summon, like, here? If I go over to this, is there a way to command? No, there's disband, then command. Hmm, okay. That dog's going all the way over here. It's almost nighttime. I'm almost going to have to return. I mean, I'm glad we're bringing these things back. Glad Ochi's here. Everything's looking good. Pile of raw materials transported. And then, what is this guy carrying? A bug or something? Good, get him in there, too. I mean, as much as I want to move on, it's almost nighttime. I'm not quite sure. The onion produced different Pikmin? Hello? So onion color determines Pikmin type. So this one's red. I don't know how to change that. But okay, so we have, uh, we have 10 and 20. So I don't know. I mean, like, how imperative is it that I get back before nightfall? Let me go over here really quick. And then I will commence the attack on whatever's next. Time flies by here, so we got to deal with that, apparently. So obviously I see this guy. All right, great. Get him. Everyone get him. There you go. Sure. So, okay. Demolish this. Just send everyone at it. Oh, look at the time. An important part of any rescue mission is making sure you make your way back to the base before it gets dark. All right, sure, I'll do that. I'll do that. That makes sense. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, Pikmin will be safe as long as they make it back to the area around the base. It seems the creatures get even more aggressive at night. If any Pikmin are separated from the squad, you better collect them now. All right, so let me hurry up. Get, get done with that really quick, because... We got a little bit of time left, I think. Oh my gosh, hurry. Where am I? Is this even close to the... Shoot, I actually don't know if this is... Here, let's go. Let's follow them. They know what... Actually, I kind of want to do this. Can I Can I reach this? Can I not reach that? How can I not... Okay, whatever, whatever. We're going to investigate this treasure later. I do not want to miss out on anything. Where did they go? Where, did they go down here? Where's the where's the goal? Where's the goal? All right, everyone seems like we're gonna be safe here. We got all of my team. So what happens now at night? I mean, like, maybe I got here a little early. Like, what do I do now that I'm here already? Like, do I do anything to hasten this, or do I just like, like I'm good? I'm good. Okay, I. What does this, like, ghost thing mean? Like, none of them have died. Eight. Seven. Oh, this is the countdown. Seven. Six. 
Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And now nightfall, I guess. Blast off. All right, what, what happens? Everyone go to bed. <laughs> and we'll go to bed too. I kind of miss those. Do those just grow back? Oh, we're actually leaving. That's interesting. And we're returning back at night and we've rescued someone, right? Where's the guy we rescued? <laughs> I'm so worried. Day two rescues, we got Russ back. Sparkling, yeah, we got a couple things. Creatures, yeah. And then, so we're still working on it, only 12% done, so, you know, we'll, go, we'll get back into it the next day, of course. <laughs> Welcome back, Russ. Glad to see you made it here in one piece. Hee hee hee, of course, Captain. I had no doubts the emergency escape system I developed would function perfectly. That may be, but it would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. <laughs> one would expect an emergency escape device to be a bit more intuitive to use in the event of an emergency. Anyhow, now that you're back, Russ, uh, now that you're back, Russ can tell us if you came across any rocks like this before we found you. Kihio, <laughs> Colin, Colin, Colin. Not only did I see them, I've already completed very thorough research on this material. I discovered that when heated, the rocks become soft and malleable and can be shaped into any form you desire. Its base properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material indeed. Cool. <laughs> Cool doesn't even begin to describe it. This is the one, the ultimate biomass I've been searching for my entire career. I'm currently upgrading the 3D printer so we can put this miracle material to use as soon as to use as soon as you bring it to the SS Beagle. It will be crucial to my work in the lab and any other building and any other building needs that might arise. What a spectacular update, Russ. I knew bringing along a material scientist would be key to our success. Starting tomorrow, I'm expecting our rescue operations to go even more smoothly than usual now that you're here. Great. Sounds good. So what happens now? Does it just like pop into day three and we gotta be like, okay, time to go. Yeah, rescue mission day three is coming up. And we got Russ here. And uh, so... I imagine that uh, whatever we talk to him about will be useful. Oh, what's going on? Wait, is it just me or did Ochi go through a growth spurt overnight? Oh, is he bigger? That's actually quite typical for his breed. It's a sign that he's now fully grown and qualified for more rigorous activity. Oh, we can carry Pikmin, that's cool. The Pikmin sure are playful today. Yes, they appear to be letting their guard down now that Ochi's uh, come into his own. I'm just glad to see they're getting along. Right. Another benefit of Ochi being fully grown is that he can now build up his pup drive while completing missions. And with regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that will be useful for everyday rescue operations. From the looks of it, Ochi is ready as ever to fill up that pup drive. Great. <laughs> All right, officers. Uh, to your stations, please. Copy that. All right, so next episode, uh, I got a bigger Ochi. I now call this strategy meeting to order. First things first, Russ. Please update us on the improvements being made to the SS Beagle. Kihi, <laughs> it would be my absolute pleasure, Captain Shepard, because they're done. Great. What do we got? The SS Beagle now has the ability to transform any raw material collected in the field to all-purpose clay. With this functionality, we should be able to easily build on location. We can complete that bridge then. Excellent, of course. I'm not quite sure what we'll be building, but good work nonetheless. One last thing. Bring me raw material and I'll be able to whip up exciting new gear and items for you in the lab. I have no doubt they'll be useful to you while out in the field. Sounds like we're not only collecting treasure now, but raw material too. And don't forget about our missing rescue officers. We're counting on you to find them, Zack Scott and Ochi. By the way, come talk to me later when you have a minute. Uh, I would like to discuss Ochi's training. I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. So I don't know if I should put this material at like the end of the episodes or at the beginning, because the beginning, you know, is the start of day two. I don't even know. 
But for now, we're gonna end, we're gonna end it like that. Thank you for watching. Uh, come back next time for some more Pikmin 4. I will see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.